A reading from Luke chapter 22, verses 1 through 6. Now the festival of unleavened bread, called the Passover, was approaching. And the chief priests and the teachers of the law were looking for some way to get rid of Jesus, for they were afraid of the people. Then Satan entered Judas, called Iscariot, one of the twelve. And Judas went to the chief priests and the officers of the temple guard and discussed with them how he might betray Jesus. They were delighted and agreed to give him money. He consented and watched for an opportunity to hand Jesus over to them when no crowd was present. Most Bible scholars think that Wednesday of Holy Week was a sort of day of rest for Jesus. Tuesday had been filled with not only teaching, but confrontation with his enemies. Wednesday now, a day to get prepared, if you will, for what was about to happen. But you know who did not take a day of rest? The evil one. There's a basic pattern in the scriptures. God does something great. The evil one tries to mess it up. And so here we just simply hear the words from Luke. Satan entered Judas. And so Judas went, sold out, if you will, money, 30 pieces of silver. That was the price to betray Jesus, whom he had followed. The one who performed all these marvelous miracles that Judas had witnessed. The teaching about the wonder and truth of God, his love, his mercy. Judas hearing all of that. But Satan entered him just like he wishes to continually tempt you and me to disregard what we know about Jesus, what we hear from him as the Spirit works through the Word. But you know, while Jesus may have, according to his human nature, been resting on Wednesday, God never sleeps. God never rests. God, in fact, is at work. And so, in all of this, God's in control. And while God does something great and the evil one tries to mess it up, those who remain with Jesus win. Watch, let not the wicked world with its lies defeat you, lest with bold deceptions hurled it betray and cheat you. Watch and see, lest there be faithless friends to charm you, who but seek to harm you. 